Hi guys, this is Tarun here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the IOPP survey. So similar to my load line survey video, I have used the same diagrammatic technique and I'll show you how I had prepared the diagram and how it helped me remember the points. I hope you follow it and this method helps you in answering the question being asked by the survey in a better way. So without any further delay, I will straightly jump in to how the preparation went on to it. So I've taken most of the points from the HSSC 2017 document that is Harmonized System of Survey and Certification and also I referred the IRS document for the IOPP survey. So as for any survey, we'll start with the documentations. First point to remember, there will be three surveys, the initial, annual and renewal. So you need to go through the documents to get a better understanding. With the documents, first of all, you need to check your statutory certificates, any new equipments which have been added or any alterations. So this is a prerequisite. Type approval, since this is an IOPP survey, type approval of your oil filtering equipment, ODME equipment, these have to be checked. Operations manual, maintenance manual. So these are the documents. So you go through the documents. I'll just give you a small glance through of my notes. If you want to make your own notes, well and good, you can refer the HSSC documents otherwise. All have been taken from there. So I want to take you through the diagram, which will give you an idea on how to go about it and remember things. So same as the previous video on the load line survey, I have uh, split it into deck and engine. So on the deck, what do you see? Since I was on an oil tanker, so first thing you mentioned about your cow operation and equipment manual, talk about the ORB part one, the soap up equipment, also talk about that ballast in the cargo line, there should be no cross connection between them and uh, give some points about ODME and uh, talk about the oil and water interface detector and uh, there should there should be some arrangements for examining them as practical as possible. We have to mention about the shore discharge, standard discharge connection, the ORB2 and uh, the oil filtering equipment in engine room. You should have sufficient replaceable elements and uh, you should have appropriate testing and auto stop procedures in place and they should be able to test them. Moving on, the arrangement of oil tank residue should be there in place and that has to be satisfactory. So you'll have your sludge tank or lube oil drain tank, oily bilge tank and the pumping arrangement to your incinerator or your O-boat connections. So these points were mentioned in the document. So I hope you have a rough idea of how to go about this so you can use the same diagram or improve upon it or come out with your own diagram and I hope that helps you answering the question better. See you soon guys.